back again with yet another resin test. This one I had a lot of requests to test out. A lot of people are speaking very highly of this resin. It's Amerita Labs AMD 3 LED, supposedly made specifically for uh, the type of printers that we're all using at home. So it's not, it doesn't work even with the SLA printers from what I understand, it's specifically made for these um, LCD printers. Uh, whether that's marking hype, truth, I, you know, I don't evaluate it. I'm not a chemist or an engineer. All I care about, as you guys know, how good a print does it get me? That's what I care about and get you. So, like I said, I heard a lot of good things. A lot of people have been asking me to test this, and finally it was time. So you're going to see the photos. I'll, I'll float some in my head uh, so you can see. But at the end of the video, I'm going to zoom in super high res. You judge for yourself, you know, the quality of, of the material. But I'm, I'm going to weigh in on it. Because it's made for LCDs, it is a pretty fast curing resin. Now, normally fast curing resins aren't quite as accurate as slow curing resins because any light bleed will cure extra resin and, and reduce your, uh, your accuracy. But what I found with this, even though it's a fast curing resin, this is, this is an impressive resin. This resin held great detail. So honestly, I'm not sure, I mean, I'm gonna do my break tests. You guys view for yourself like what you think of durability and stuff. To someone like me, I just want the best prints I can get. And I don't even care if the resin's a little fragile because I'm very careful with my minis. So I know for some of you, uh, how brittle this turns out to be is gonna be a big deciding factor. But for people who are just kind of like me or just like perfectionists, this resin to me, I, this is giving me as good a result as I've gotten with anything, <clears throat> possibly, possibly even my best results, I, I'm going to have to do more testing to determine that and really compare a lot of stuff head to head. But, you know, I'm just doing a normal resin review for this right now. Maybe I'll do an, if I find that is the best resin I've ever used, like if I can really determine that, I'll, I'll make a further video. But for now, you'll see the pictures. At the very least, it's extremely accurate. It prints really, really nice, picked up the details on the figure that I always test. You guys know I use the same figure. It did a great job. I'm really happy about it. Now, let's go on to the first part of the brake test. Well, this part's gonna be a little funny because the spear that I normally break for you in my brake test, I was holding it in my hand and I turned around to do something and I jammed it into my chair and I broke it. So we're gonna do the brake test with half a spear. It's a little unfortunate, uh, but it is what it is. So let's, whoop, see, brittle, pretty brittle, I mean, this had been jammed into my chair, so maybe that affected thing. Let, let's go to the throw test. Um, but that brake test was pretty easy. You know, why don't I break, why don't I also just break one of the hammers? Because I'm not going to glue them on anyway anymore. Because when I glue hammers on to her and then we do the throw test that I do now, drop test, but I do it by throwing her up, the hammers break off anyway, so I might as well just break them. Okay. So again, it, it requires a decent amount of force on that thin part, but it's not flexible. Okay, I'm not doing, I don't want anyone to think that I'm telling you there's a flexible resin. It didn't flex almost at all before it broke. Now, as I've come to learn, that's not necessarily a sharp indicator of how strong the resin is though, because some of them uh, bend, uh, but still break when you drop them, even though they're a little bendier, and others don't really bend and they will break under the right circumstance if you drop them, but they survive drops pretty well anyway, just because they're stronger. So I don't know what, what this one is yet. So we're gonna see. All I know is before I even throw it, I'm gonna look at her one last time because she, she really came out great. I'm, I really, really like the way this resin comes out. Plus they're gray. It's a very pleasing color on the table. I don't know if you can see it that clearly at this distance, but you're gonna see the high res photos, but it, it like gives shadows and highlights really nicely just in natural light. So if you're, again, if you're like me and you have a billion unpainted figures, you want ones that when you put them down, they look good. She looks pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm very happy with this resin. Um, I'm going to link the price somewhere because I think this is a more expensive resin though also. Uh, so, you know, it should print well. But anyway, let's, let's, let's go to the throw slash drop test and see how she does. Um, based on the break test, I'm actually expecting her to break a little bit, but let's see what happens first. Let's just do like a three four foot test. 
Oh, okay, no damage at all. Oh, nice one. Okay, I see a little tip. I, it looks like our hair broke off on that. And that was equivalent to about a four foot drop. Maybe a little more, four and a half foot drop. And let's see what came off. Something came off. Oh, the very topmost thin part of the hair came off. Okay, that, that's a tiny little piece that's exposed. So that's not that surprising. Four foot to drop onto a tiny little piece. I think most resins would break from that. Let's, let's break the rest of the hair. Let's see what it takes. First, because I feel like there's a little brittle, let me just try a smaller one, see. Nope, still good. Let me do it a little harder. That broke off the next piece. So this, a significant kind of throw is gonna break her. Now let's see just like strength, strength. Let me just squish the legs till they break. Okay, doesn't, okay, not that much force. I mean, it was force obviously. It's not like you're gonna handle, it's gonna break. But it's not as, it's not as hard to break as some of the other resins I've been testing lately have been. Like the Surya Sculpt was hard to break. The Epax Hard was hard to break. But let me, uh, ah, see, yeah, not that much. So, okay, so this resin, Ameritalabs AMD 3 LED, might be the best printing resin that I've tested in terms of detail. It might even be, it, I think it holds the detail as well as the Epax Hard, to be honest, even though it's a fast resin. So I'm pretty amazed by what they achieved in terms of a fast resin that also holds detail amazing. Um, however, you see, if you're gonna use this resin, and I would easily recommend this resin to anyone who wants good, really like crispy prints and is not worried about breaking them. If your prints are getting handled by small kids or you're very clumsy, you can knock them off the table, whatever, whatever. Like, again, this resin, it's not, it's not brittle like, you know, you knock it over on your table, it's not going to break, obviously, just from a regular, you know, it's all, I, I haven't tested any resin that would break from just like normal, like even, you, you, you know, you do this to it, it's not going to break, right? You do this, it's not going to break. Even that fall a couple feet down, not going to break it. So, this kind of resin, if you're not really, really worried about durability, I'd have to say this, this AMD... Uh, three LED by Amerilabs. This is actually uh, going to climb high up on my list. I think uh, you know. Now, stay tuned because in a minute or two, I'm going to have the super high res picture, so you can really see why do I keep talking about how nice it printed. It's just, it's like crispy looking. I mean, talk about crisp. This is this resin came out crisp. I like it. So uh, definitely check this out again. I'm not sure again where this is available and everything, and I, and I do think it's one of the, I do think it's a pricier resin. I'll I'll look it up after I finish filming this and float it in a box somewhere the price that you can get this for, so you can see. But if you want very high detail, I do think this resin will give it to you. Um, yeah, so I guess that's about it. It's a little brittle, but but again, it, just even looking at my hand, it I don't even have to look at the high res photos yet. It just prints great. I mean, this is really looking nice. So that's it for my Amerilabs AM3D. If you've been thinking of trying it out, I would definitely say test it out and see what you think yourself because I am I am a fairly big proponent of this all of a sudden. It uh, it looks good. It just looks good. And, you know, I'm all about how the things look. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. Pretty happy with it. So that's it. Uh, Please like, please subscribe. Hope you learned something here. I will, uh, as I say at the end of every, every resin review video while making it, I will attempt to get you guys a coupon. I'm going to go to the manufacturer and say, hey, you know, I'm doing a review of your resin. I might be able to help you sell some because I give an honest review and then people can judge for themselves. But if you give me a coupon to give it to my viewers, you know, that might motivate some people to try it if they were on the fence about trying it. So I will make my best effort to get you guys a coupon because I do think if you were thinking of trying this, I want you to try it and see what you think and let me know. If you get the same results I did, which like super crispy prints, I want feedback from all my viewers because I'm just one person testing. 
if a bunch of you get it and test it and give me feedback, then I'll know, is it really as good as I'm saying it is? Or did I just get lucky? Or am I too dialed in? I don't know what it is. But I, I, I love to get feedback from you guys when you use products yourself so, so it can validate the reviews I'm giving or make me rethink maybe I need to change something or maybe there's something I missed or it doesn't work the same for everyone. So I'll try to get you guys a coupon. If you use this resin, please let me know so that I can... Uh, you know, because I'm this one I like so much, I'm going to do further testing on because I really, I'm really impressed with how it printed out. So I'm I'm going to keep t I want to keep testing this to see. I'm, in fact, I'm going to I'm going to devise some tests to go head to head with my Epax Hard and see which gives me the best prints. Because right now I think this one might really be up there. So that's it. Uh, please, if you can, uh, I have a Kickstarter coming out soon, probably in the next month. I have a link in the description. Awesome models, awesome game from some of the top sculptors out there. I got a bunch of smaller sculptors from Patreon who, who could use some support who are great artists, so I'm showcasing their work as well. I have great painters in there, some super famous, uh, like the Goobertown and Craft World and James Wapple. And then I have some painters who aren't as well known, and I want you guys to see some of the work from these lesser known artists is great as well, and they deserve love and respect. So please uh, click on the link and go to get notified when my Kickstarter launches. And please, I would appreciate all the people who support. Uh, when the Kickstarter launches, you're going to get great stuff. I a really, really, you know, when I talk about other people's Kickstarters, I'm always harping on how good is the stuff you get, but also what's the value, you know, for your dollar. And so, of course, when I'm doing my own Kickstarter, I want to make sure you have a lot of value for any dollars that you spend. So anyway, go check it out. Please like, please subscribe. I'll see you again with more resin reviews. Thanks and happy 3D printing. So let's look up close at the print and forget that I got a little bit of dust on her. That's my fault for putting her on the workbench, but ignore that. Look at the clarity. What I'm always looking at, uh, look at the eyes, the eyelids, the eyebrows, and the mouth. All came out really, really sharp, really clear. The armband on her left bicep, you can uh, pretty clearly make out the incredibly thin, tiny pattern there, which is great to be able to pick that up. Um, even on the on the very bottom handle of the hammer, you can see the little design in there. That's and that's really hard to see usually on most of my prints. I mean, remember this is a tiny figure. This is a dwarf female. She's like 28 millimeters tall only. So look at this great detail. The other thing that came out really crispy, really really clear and well delineated is her fingers. The lines between her fingers, the space between her fingers as she's gripping those hammers, extremely clear on this print. So there's, it doesn't look like any bleed, any swelling. It looks really good. So anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this resin review. Uh, please check out my other reviews, tips, tricks, and everything. And happy 3D printing, everyone.